All right, friends, we're going to be testing out the NanoLife liquid screen protector. I'm going to show you how to apply it. And then we are going to test it since it says it adds more strength and everything like that. So I've got myself a cheaper cell phone here. And I'm just going to clean this up here. Got the alcohol pad. Clean both sides. So I marked it. One side's nano. This obviously this side I'm working on right here. Okay, so clean that off real good. Okay. And then now we use our microfiber cloth and uh, finish that off. Oh. Okay. And it's really helpful if you have um, something to hold the the phone while you're doing this. So I have this silicone, um, it's like a gripper pad or something, but it works awesome for keeping the phone in place while you're doing this. So, so there we go. Got it all cleaned up per specifications. You can see there's no uh, cracks or scratches in this screen. Not yet. So then we're taking the uh, nanotech. And uh, if you just squeeze it, and you can apply it like that. Okay. So we're going to go over it real quick here in little circles. Just cover the whole thing here. dries pretty quick but this is pretty much all there is to it for to apply it and just do a couple more clicks and make sure we get it all on there nice even coat there over the entire thing and this is super easy to apply so I've done it on my other cell phones and it definitely helps with fingerprints I just wanted to test the ability for the regular protection as well for like scratch protection stuff like that all right so now that that's set on there you're pretty much done with the application um, uh, we're just going to wipe it off again with the microfiber cloth or whatever so uh, wait five minutes so we're going to wait five minutes then polish it with um, or my uh, the cloth here so we'll be right back okay, five minutes later here we come with our cloth to wipe it off and then we're gonna reapply just to give this the benefit of the doubt here but look at this pretty nice and shiny I mean I like the fingerprint protection and everything that this thing provides so I'm just gonna this is gonna be a test to see the uh, nanotech uh, scratch protection and stuff like that so we're doing a second coat right now All right and then we're actually gonna let this sit 48 hours just so we ensure maximum toughness here so that's that you know, I'm gonna go over a little bit more. I wonder if you did this to like your car windshield or something. How uh, how good would that be at resisting uh, fogging and stuff like that? I don't know. I don't know. But uh, if this does add strength, it wouldn't be a bad thing to look into, you know? Okay. So that's how you apply the uh, nanotech screen liquid screen protector it's super easy and it definitely does I can testify it does help with fingerprints but we're gonna do demonstration with fingerprints on the regular side and the nano protected side then I'm gonna try to scratch it I'm gonna do all that stuff so I'm uh, gonna let this sit for another five minutes we're gonna be back wipe it off and then we're gonna let it sit for 48 hours 
right, five minutes are done. Wipe it off. And we'll see you guys in a couple of days. I guess 48 hours to give this thing the full time to cure. And we'll be testing this uh, phone out. So uh, we'll see you guys then. Okay, friends, it's time. We're going to test out the hype. Nano Life liquid screen protectors. Are they legit or not? Here we go. So I have this phone. Um, I've marked it one side with nano technology protection and the other side not. I did two coatings of the nano protector on this one and just regular on the other side. So I'm going to try some things out on this and uh, see how it works. So let's get to it, my friends. Okay, so here we go. First thing we're going to test is, I guess, like fingerprints here. So this side is the nano protection and this isn't. So let's try to put a big old thumbprint right there. And let's try to put one on the other side and see what the difference is. All right, so pretty much, well, I thought it did actually give some protection there, but it looks like it's pretty much identical for the thumbprint. So that didn't really help out. It might even be more over on that side. Anyways, okay, so... Now we're going to take this uh, screw here and see if I can't scratch this. Probably not, but... Okay, so... Let's see here. Actually... Let me see a scratch anything on there. Um, didn't really... I mean, need a, it made a line across the thumbprint there, but didn't really scratch either side, so... Um, Maybe that's not hard enough to scratch it then. Let's try this one here, see if we can't scratch it. Um, nope, neither side got scratched there, really. So, maybe not having something that's hard enough to scratch glass with. I guess it's not easy to do. That's not doing anything. And that's not doing anything, so. Um, hmm. Well, let me see if I can't find something harder here. Well, so far, nothing. Uh, let's try maybe a hacksaw blade here. Scratch. Aha! Hacksaw blade can scratch glass, apparently. Okay, so will the nano technology protect it. Uh, no. It won't protect it. So, near as I can tell, the liquid screen protector doesn't do a whole lot. What about, like, a hammer? Looks like the hammer really didn't hurt it that much. But so what I'm learning here from fingerprints and scratches, it's looking like the nanotechnology thing. Maybe it's not all it's hyped up to be. Um, I was kind of, you know, it seemed to help with the fingerprints, but upon using it like this, it doesn't seem to. So. The, what I've learned though is the glass is actually pretty dang tough. So, um, yeah, I mean, you're not really going to scratch your, it doesn't seem like you're going to scratch your uh, phone screen unless you've got something like a hacksaw or something in your hand, you know, or in your pocket. Not many things are going to scratch it. You see, I tried the different screws there and they didn't even scratch it. So. Uh, let's see if it helps with like dropping it. So I have like a concrete floor here. Let's just see. Well, that was from about a few feet up here. We'll just show you where we're dropping it from. Maybe. All right, we're about three feet up here. And 
so far. I mean, this is just a cheap little ZTE phone, doing okay. We'll drop it on the screen if we can here, about five feet up on the concrete. Hmm. Still good, maybe if we drop it on a corner of it, I don't know. Well, I'm actually kind of impressed with that, so I'm dropping it on concrete here. This is above my head now. And, uh, wow, okay, that's pretty good, I'd have to say. That was about seven feet in the air. Let's drop it again here. Okay, that's a solid drop there. So, pretty impressed with the, uh, the phone's ability here, I mean, the screen still hasn't broken. I landed a couple on the side there, so um, pretty good impact resistance. Doesn't even have a case on there, I believe. This is just a regular, uh, regular deal on here. Anyway, so a couple things I guess we could take away from this. Oh, that did it. Yeah. Okay, well hammer kind of broke it pretty easy and doesn't look like there's any expert protection here from the nanotechnology so takeaway is if you drop your phone on concrete seem to be you know for the most part okay um, if you got a screw or something in your pocket your screens probably gonna be okay and not a lot of things are gonna scratch your glass like we saw I had to go find something that could actually do it so a hacksaw something else like that maybe so it doesn't appear that the nanotechnology actually does much of a difference it didn't really protect against the hammer either so uh, it seemed with the fingerprints it was about the same as well which maybe it was just my perception that when I had it on my phone that it was actually better but I don't know so it doesn't appear to be much offer much protection against anything I guess uh, that's that my friend so Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Everyone have a great day.